Um, like most of my shows and most of my works usually start with a, with a sentence or with a poem or with words. And I carry it with me and I repeat it in my mind until I think it has the potential to build a narrative in your mind, having the power to create a, an internal monologue within yourself. And Listen to Middle Pig is a fragment from a poem uh, from the Black Book of Carmarthen, which is um, you know, a, con a combination or like a conglomeration of uh, hero, hero poems and folk stories from, um, from Wales, from the 6th century. And is also speaking about the figure of Merdin. And Merdin was a wild man. It was, he was always a prophet. He was a, a mysterious man um, who decided to withdraw uh, into, the, into the forest where he you know, was receiving some prophecies and he was having visions, but basically was alone for many, many decades. And his only conversational partner was a little pig and some apple trees. And there is this kind of, this, the stanzas of these poems are very nice because they always start with, listen to me, oh little pig. I will tell you about uh, a gruesome future or like, you know, the hot summer which is awaiting us and so on. I found it such an elegant, light beginning to a very potentially tragic continuation, you know, that you speak about the visions you have about a glum or dark future to a little innocent animal. And I really like the juxtaposition of having visions and sharing them with an animal. So this was the beginning and I just thought about it, how can I, how can I build a story about this? How can I, what kind of stories do I, would I tell to this little pig? And, I, and then slowly the, the works came to me and I thought maybe I should be like much more, like at least trying to build it within the idea of the retreat into the forest or into a garden and this little conversation you have with in, inanimate objects. So this new body of work, which is seen here in the exhibition, it's very much about storytelling. And the, the, the play with words started to become more and more important. It is a very telling exhibition, trying to create a kind of a, um, an internal vision, much more than external. And I think this is a, a, something which runs through this exhibition, which was very important to me, this over-romanticization of nature as well, and this, this anthropomor anthropomorphizing of... of um, of the signs of nature, you know, but, which I also love and do. And I, I've, but I, I think it's very interesting to see that this was something which was done over centuries, that refuge not always equals transcendental knowledge, that you don't always come out wiser and, and more um, mature after a time of withdrawal. You can just come back, you know, just disheveled, mad and confused. And this is also completely fine and maybe much more interesting. Um, and I just wanted to tell this kind of little story to this little pig, or which I actually basically just tell myself about this, this, this little mistaken identities, the, the this jolly little moments you have in the orchard, which might, might become a great, um, a very exquisite ex situation or adventure or just, or just deeply disturbing, like, you know, like this overindulgence in, in the sugary treats, uh, which are like in the trees. And everything is a little bit, you know, they are very beautiful prints, but actually the music which I ask you to listen to is rather doom. And, you know, and above all of them is the love conquers all. But this was something I was always looking for. I, I'm looking for balance when I do an exhibition and also in my artistic thinking. But balance means to accept that both sides needs to be like equal, you know, all the pain needs to be equal to the beauty and all the, you know, it's, just, it's balance is not just like one one internal feeling of, um, of exquisiteness. So it's, you know, it's, it's a kind of like a jolly little frivolous exhibition, you know, of things which can happen in the garden, you know. <laughs>